Welcome traders to another Tickmill Earnings Report preview with me, Patrick Munnerly. Before we jump into today's material, it's important that we adhere to the risk disclaimer. The material provided is for information purposes only and should not be considered as investment advice. The views, information or opinions expressed in this recording are solely mine. They are not indicative or representative of those held by Tickmill UK or Tickmill Europe Limited. It's also important to understand that we are talking about CFDs, they're complex instruments and come with a high risk of losing money rapidly due to leverage. 71% and 65% of retail investor accounts lose money when trading CFDs with Tickmill UK and Tickmill Europe Limited respectively. Okay, let's jump into today's report and we are taking a look at Tesla. So Tesla is confirmed to report earnings after the bell today in New York trading. Uh, the consensus earnings estimates is for $2.27 per share on revenue of $17.76 billion. There is a whisper number on the street of a potential $2.41 per share um, on revenue as high as $17.86 billion. As usual, Tesla have already disclosed its uh, first quarter vehicle delivery and production numbers, which drives the vast majority of the company's revenue. Earlier this month, Tesla confirmed that it had delivered just over 310,000 electrical vehicles during the first three months of the year. That's yet another all-time quarterly record for Tesla, the seventh in a row, and a massive result for a first quarter, which is generally viewed to be weaker. Delivery and production numbers are always slightly adjusted during the earnings results. For revenue, analysts generally have a pretty good idea of what to expect thanks to the delivery numbers Tesla always attempts to be marginally profitable every quarter as it invests most of its money back into growth, and it's been successfully doing so over the past two years. The earnings are a little bit more hit and miss since it depends on how much Tesla is spending for this specific quarter. And with supply chain issues and costs increasing at new factories being bought online, it could be not as profitable despite the real potential for another record when it comes to revenues. So in terms of what we can expect from a statistical perspective uh, around the release, the stock has gapped lower actually eight of the last 12 quarters, so 75% of the time, for an average loss of 1.2%. Shares have moved lower in the immediate aftermath of earnings eight of the 12 previous reports. And again, on average, the stock has moved down about 1.2% in the first day after the company reports earnings. However, based on the previous 12 earnings releases, shares are more likely to trade lower uh, than one day after the earnings, but the five-day performance, importantly, shows an average gain of 7.6%. In terms of what options traders are pricing in around implied volatility around the release, sorry, we're looking for about an 8.6% move. Uh, on the earnings release, and the stock has averaged about 6.5% move in the recent quarters. From a flow perspective, an options flow perspective, giving us that sentiment view, it is noticeable there was a, uh, a decent buyer on April 14th um, of 15,063 contracts of the 1,001 call uh, expiring on Friday, 22nd of April. In general, options flow has been uh, more bearish investment sentiment, though going into the release, has a 72% positive expectancy for an earnings beat. Short interest has increased to 12.9% since the company's last earnings release, while the stock has actually drifted higher by about 5.5% from its open following the last release, uh, to be 11.3% above its 200-day moving average, at $885.33. So let's jump into the technicals now and see what we're looking at in terms of uh, actual trade levels and opportunities in the uh, in the post-release. So the structure at the moment for Tesla is bullish. I'm actually watching here a potential uh, five-wave scenario. I'm just going to draw this in for you. So we have a one, two, we have a three, wave three high here, and uh, versus this Potential wave four low at 972.81. We are, I'm actually targeting a five equals one minimum upside objective of 1162.69. So I'm looking for prices, depending upon whether the release comes in line, if it does come in line or slightly better, I'm looking for to be long through the high volume node here 
at uh, 1036, looking for price to grind up into this target zone, 5 equals 1 of 1162.69. If the earnings come in below consensus on the weak side and we get any pullback back into the ascending trend line support here at just above the $900 mark, again, I'll be watching for bullish reversal patterns there to build long positions, ultimately looking for this move up to test above the 1160 level. As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next time, thanks very much.